everybody, this is cnbbeb.com and today our topic is how to log out a user from Facebook with PHP programming language. And this video is based on our blog post, which you can find at nbbeb.com slash blog and direct link to this blog post, you can also find at this video description. Okay, so sometimes you may need to destroy the current user session and simply log out him from Facebook application or or wall Facebook system. So let's get straight to our programming code. So at first you have to create config.php file. Uh, which contains application ID and the secret key and how to implement this you may also find that our uh, blog post how to check if the user is connected to Facebook with PHP so you'll find out how to uh, how to implement all this environment The main place in this code is line fifth, where we are getting our logout URL. And instead of this title URL you are redirecting user to, we should input some uh, redirecting link uh, where the user should be redirected after he clicks on logout link in your application. So also take a notice that redirecting link should be in the same domain scope as your Facebook application. Otherwise, depending on some Facebook security options, you will be redirected to Facebook homepage without any logout success. So we store this logout URL into logout URL variable, which we use in these two uh, logout links. And here we have two logout methods. The first one is based on onClick JavaScript event. And uh, the second one, uh, it has target top attribute. And if you uh, want to know more about this, to get detailed explanation about these two methods, please visit our blog post, which link you can find in this video description. Okay, so now it's time to test this application and how it works in, in, uh, in reality. So now it's time to change this title to some real URL, redirecting URL. And I will change this into our previous example, our previous uh, Facebook application, uh, where we uh, tested if user is connected to Facebook. is. If he is not connected, then he is redirected to a Facebook login page. Okay, so this is the code of a previous example. About this code and about this uh, example, you can read also in our blog. And and now when I click on the logout link, I will be redirected to this. Uh, to this link, to this uh, logout link, because my uh, Facebook session will be destroyed after clicking logout link, I will be redirected to Facebook login page. So that's actually pretty simple. So let's try how it works. Okay, so I save the code, put the file into server. Okay, so now I am logged in into Facebook. So now it's time to go to to our Facebook application. 
which is actually pretty simple. It has to uh, log out links. And now it's time to click on the first link. Okay, so that works pretty well. So when I clicked on this logout link, I, I was redirected to our uh, logout URL uh, where, where this code checked my uh, session because my session was destroyed. I was redirected to Facebook login page. Okay, so let's let's log in one more time and try the try the second try the second method. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's let's one more time. Okay, so it works the same actually. So you can choose your method which you prefer most uh, because and the first one works pretty good and the second also works well. So that's all what I wanted to say today and uh, don't forget that this code runs pretty well today but who knows what changes to Facebook API will bring tomorrow so technology is about to change and Facebook incorporates those changes even before they are acknowledged so if you have any questions or you need any assistance in developing web applications uh, or Facebook applications or you need some uh, web design services so please contact us and uh, we will be happy to help you so that's it good luck